Greetings and salutations, internet friends, and welcome back to another episode of the First Time Film Club. My name is Emily, the titular first-timer. This is Matthew, my husband, Cinema Sherpa, and viewer submitted title. Oh, I, I had to Google this. I wasn't sure what this was. But Master of the Magic Lantern. I now know what a magic lantern is. If you don't know, Google it. It's real yeah. neat. Um, that one was sub like submitted by Hawk Skull, so thank you so much for that. You two can submit yours by dropping it in the comment below using hashtag title. That way I know what to look for. For those of you who are new to the channel, hey babe, how are you? Happy holidays. Welcome. Pippin says hi. Uh, if you're unfamiliar, what we're doing here is watching our way through a very long list of movies that I've never seen, but that typically Matthew has. That being said, Matthew... What are we watching? Tonight we are watching the Patreon poll winners, the 1992 uh, family comedy Christmas musical, The Muppet Christmas Carol. And as per usual, I only give you the name, genre, and year. You go in with what you already know about it. You let everybody know what you know. Then we watch it and review it. So what do you know about The Muppet Christmas Carol? got Muppets in it. Well, okay. Um, and it's based on, I'm pretty sure, like, the a Christmas Carol. You know, like, All the... Right, well. I'm <laughs> dissecting the title, okay? All right? <laughs> this is how... So, from the obvious context clues, <laughs> you figured some things out. I have got this in the bag. Um, I, I mean, I don't know. It's just got Muppets and Christmas. And it's... I, have, it's gonna be good times. I don't know if I should ask you before the movie. Do you have any... But I will. Do you have any, uh, you have any feelings one way or the other about Muppets? I love Muppets. Okay. Like, who doesn't like Muppets? Kermit the Frog here. Um, I mean, I'm, I feel like I'm basically the love child of Gonzo and Fonzie. So, you know, like. Yeah, I could see that. I mean, I'm about Muppets. With a splash of animal thrown in there somewhere. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure how I missed this movie. Um, maybe this is one of those that, like, I saw when I was really young, but it's completely lost on me, uh, because I, I cannot remember anything, like, specific from the film if I, if I ever saw it as a child. So, I'm glad that we're watching this. I'm glad okay. that the patrons picked this one, so thank you for mm -hmm. that. Well, uh, last thing for new viewers, you'll probably see with my phone in my hand at some point during the movie. I'm taking notes on things to talk about after the movie. And with that said, I'm ready to watch. Me too. Let's do this. So let's watch. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a fine meal. Yes, it was, wasn't it? Yes. What should we do now? Let's have a lunch. Oh, right. <laughs> oh my God, it's me. <laughs> hey, I'm being stolen. Hey, help me. I'm being stolen. <laughs> Welcome to the Muppet Christmas Carol. Oh. I am here to tell the story. And yeah. I am here for the food. <laughs> my name is Charles Dickens. I know the story of a Christmas Carol like the back of my hand. And there's a little mole on my thumb. <laughs> oh. There he is, Mr. Ebenezer Scrooge. Oh, he grumpy looking. He charges folks a fortune for his dark and drafty houses. As poor folk live in misery. It's even worse for mouses. <laughs> Please, sir, I want some cheese. Oh, get that baby some cheese. Have no time for friends or fun. His anchor makes that clear. Muppets with puppets. No crust of bread for those in need. No cheeses for us, Mises. Oh, <laughs> Mises. Boy, this really is a dirty city. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Thank you for making me a part of this. <laughs> Let us deal with the eviction notices for tomorrow, Mr. Cratchit. Tomorrow's Christmas, sir. Very well. You may gift wrap them. <laughs> Alfred, why are you so mean? It's gotten colder. Yeah. Any bookkeeping staff would like to have an extra shovel full of coal for the fire? We can't do the bookkeeping. Yeah, all of our pens have turned to inksicles. Yeah. Our assets are frozen. <laughs> Suddenly. I'll employ! Keep it! This is my island in the sun. Uh, uh, what I believe you've convinced them once again, Mr. Scrooge. No! <laughs> the rats is cold! Please 
times, it was customary on Christmas Eve <laughs> for well-meaning gentlemen to call upon businesses. It's in his pillows. Mr. Scrooge, I presume. Brightly shown the moon that night, though. Uh, uh, a penny for the song, Governor? <gasps> oh no. How much time off is customary, Mr. Cratchit? The day. The whole day. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. The whole day. The entire day? No, well, no, no, that's the frog's no. idea. <laughs> <laughs> Some bus throwing rats right here. You rocking that slouch beanie, son. <laughs> it's Michael Caine. He can rock yeah. pretty much whatever. That's true. You may be a bit of undigested beef. There's more of gravy than of grave about you. Uh, uh, <laughs> what a terrible pun. Where do you get those jokes? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> you will be haunted by three spirits. Haunted? I've already had enough of that. <laughs> no thanks. Marley and Marley. Whoa. Whoa. Scary stuff. Hey, should we be worried about the kids in the audience? <laughs> no, it's all right. This is culture. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I'll catch you. Uh, God save my little broken body. Oh, no. <laughs> he didn't even catch you. Missed. Uh, Missed. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> I forgot my jelly beans. Um. Uh huh. <laughs> yep. What? You can fit through those bars? Yeah. You are such an idiot. What? <laughs> hey, what? Expect the first ghost when the bell tolls. Thought he's going to say expect to. I mean. Wait, what now? I can remember nearly 1900 years. Oh. I'm the ghost of Christmas past. Oh, I don't care for this. Brought you here. <laughs> Come, a touch of my hand and you shall fly. Mm -mm. <clears throat> she got a creepy face. Don't do it. <laughs> the worst trip of my life. Oh, well, it's over now. Yeah, safe at last. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, it's Pippin. No. <laughs> mm, you will love business. <laughs> it is the American way. <laughs> Sam. <laughs> it's, it's in London. Right oh, it is the British way. <laughs> <laughs> my first job was here. This is Fuzzywig's old rubber chicken factory. <laughs> it's Christmas Eve for certain. Waka waka. Oh, it's waka waka. <laughs> At this time in the proceedings, it is a tradition for me to make a little speech. And it's a tradition for us to take a little nap. <laughs> <laughs> Love those guys. The spirit animals. The second of the ghosts was due to appear. Yet now, as the clock finished striking, nothing. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Come in and know me better, man. Oh, my. <laughs> this is the night before the dawn, before the day of Christmas. <laughs> did I tell you that I am the ghost of Christmas present? You did, yeah. <laughs> you did, yeah. Oh, it's Cabbage Patch Kids. <laughs> the ways of love made clear. How they do that? It is the season. <laughs> All the ways that we show love that feel like Christmas. It is the season of the spirit. The message. I'm trying to work out the mechanics. Is it two people? It's in the singing of a street corner choir. It's going home and getting warm by the fire. <laughs> Michael Caine. <laughs> An unwanted creature, but not a rattleech or a cockroach. Then what? Then what? What? It's Ebenezer Scrooge. Rude. Got him. <laughs> Y'all are being mean to the mean man. Got nobody to blame but himself. <sighs> You're right. <laughs> hey, it's Piggy. It smells so good, Mother. It does, doesn't it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Emily. Christmas, Cratchit. Oh, Emmy. Oh. Oh. 
He told me that he hoped the people saw him in church because it might be pleasant for them to remember who made lame beggars walk and blind men see. A remarkable child. I'm not gonna cry. On the blessed day of Christmas, one must drink to the health of Mr. Scrooge. Mm. Even though he is odious, mm -hmm. stingy, mm -hmm. wicked, mm -hmm. and unfeeling, mm -hmm. and badly dressed. <laughs> the largest of offenses. <laughs> God bless us, everyone. Oh, little frog, little frog baby. Oh, oh no. Spirit? Tell me if Tiny Tim will live. That is the future. Oh! Spirit, do you grow old? I do! <laughs> He's Santa Claus now! You mean the future? Go forth and know him better, man! <laughs> bye bye, Sparkle Santa. Oh. Uh. I seen this movie, you don't want to be in that. <laughs> Am I in the presence of the ghost of Christmas yet to come? This is too scary. I don't think I want to see any more. You're on your own, folks. We'll huh? meet you at the finale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too real for us. <laughs> Lead on, Spirit. Sound like a ring wraith. Oh. That was pretty cool. It's actually really cool. Considering when this was made. Well, it's likely to be a cheap funeral. I don't know a single soul who'd go to it. Of what poor wretch do they speak? Oh, the proportions are freaking me out a little bit. <laughs> I, I picked a spot for Tim where he can see. It's, it's a spot on the hill. And you can see the ducks on the river. Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim always loved watching the ducks on the river. Shut up. I'm fine. Got your tissues over there? Life is made up of meetings and partings. That is the way of it. I am sure we shall never forget Tiny Tim or this first parting that there was among us. I'm not gonna cry, Muppets. <laughs> I didn't cry, I just got misty. It's okay. Ebenezer <laughs> <laughs> the Scrooge. I will live my life in the past, the present, and the future. <laughs> Had a doozy of a night. <laughs> Hi, guys. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know that. I know that feeling. Ooh, yeah. Oh. Every morning. Oh. Oh. What happened? Oh. Buy it for me, and I'll give you a shilling. Oh. No, I'll give you five shillings. What? And so the boy was off like a shot. So even <laughs> on a sail of friendly course, file of friendly charm, on a sea of love and a thankful heart. It's a part of me that wants him to be like, I heard that shit you said about me, but here's a gift, anyways. <laughs> With a loving guarantee. That even if we pass Jeez! For the Mises! <laughs> I love, like, the off-kilter. Mm-hmm. Bob Cratchit, I've had my fill of this. <laughs> <laughs> and therefore, I'm about to raise your salary. Oh, and I am about to raise you right off the pavement! <laughs> <laughs> Pardon? Pardon? Uh, Tiny Tim? Tiny Tim, who did not die? <laughs> God bless us. God bless us, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye! Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, that was The Muppet Christmas Carol. Overall thoughts? It was a lot of fun. That was precious. I want to say this is probably the first, like, family movie that we've watched on the channel. I feel like. Um, I don't know. I have to go back and look, but I, I, you probably were right. Um, but, I mean, this was, this was really cute. This was a lot of fun. Uh, I could definitely see myself, like, 
you're putting this on the years to come just kind of like getting in the Christmas mood mm -hmm. um I loved y'all know me I love puppets I love you know costumes I love kind of animatronics and, and models I just really appreciate practical effects and you know the whole Hen Henson studio situation I've always mm -hmm. been a fan so this is good stuff this is good stuff so do you have any uh, favorite parts, anything that stuck out to you, anything that you kind of didn't see coming? Because you know the you know the story of A Christmas mm -hmm. Carol. Is there anything that surprised you about this? or Not necessarily surprised me. I, I appreciated uh, Gonzo and Rizzo kind of being like your in-the-moment narrator, uh, breaking the fourth wall kind of situation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I really appreciate that. Charles I, Dickens it, himself. Yeah, in I, the <laughs> I think that was a really good way, kind of a clever way to bring the classical telling that Michael Caine presented because, you know, he might as well have been, this might as well have been like a Broadway show for him uh, because he definitely nails the classical story and kind of marrying it with the, the, the childlike silliness that is Muppets. Um, so I appreciated that. I'm very curious to know how the hell the Christmas present. Like, I want to know the like, cause I know like uh, the the Big Bird, uh, the construction and everything of that is is really interesting. Um, I want I want to know the I want to see schematics. I want to know how he's created. How, and yeah, how, how it works. How do? How do? <laughs> and also, when was this movie? 1992. 92. Okay. For some reason, my brain, I thought it was much earlier than that. Still, though, the the warp effect thing. Yeah, with uh, the ghost of Christmas yet to come. That was really cool. I thought that was really well done. You know, I love the little songs. They're just really cute and they're just happy. And... Did you have a favorite song? I like the one that the Christmas pre uh, present sang. Christmas, that one that was replaying there at the end. Yeah. Um, I, his performance, I, I don't know whomever is the voice actor or whatever, whoever sang, he was very talented. I really appreciated that. I'd say definitely Ghost of Christmas Present was the MVP of this one, I feel like. Well, and he's a jolly, cheerful guy. <laughs> Christmas passed. Oh, what, that the was great. what the hell? What the hell? It reminded me of like a fish ghost. Like the face reminded me of like a. Interesting, you should say that. Ponyo, you know? Ponyo? Do you know about Ponyo? I don't believe so. It's uh, it does not ring a bell. It's Hayao Miyazaki, little fish. Anyways, reminded no, me of like you. a red headed fish ghost. I see you there. Mm hmm. Pay attention to me. Give me scritchums. Mm hmm. Uh, what about you? Oh, yeah. I have I love this movie. <laughs> I loved it since I was a kid. Loved watching it through the years. I'm, I was super surprised. Yeah, I was super surprised that you had not seen this. I'm sure you have had to have seen this as a kid at some point. You just don't remember. I mean, very, very probably. That's possibly and oh. probably smushed together. I mean, I, I, I've seen... Um, Muppets Treasure Island a bunch, um, but yeah, I don't I don't recall seeing this, but I'm I'm happy well, that we did see it. I'm glad you've seen it now. Yeah, like this was my Christmas movie as a kid. Oh, well, one of them. Mm -hmm. This one and Home Alone. So okay, now I need you to go ahead and break down because I'm real curious about your comment about. Oh, it's interesting you mentioned that about Fish Ghost. What? Oh. The, the Ghost of Christmas Past was a special created Muppet that they filmed in a like a water Underwater, tank. Underwater, yeah. And then they just used a green screen to put it into the movie. So you said fish ghost and they, yeah. I certainly <laughs> got that, an underwater feel with the, the way that the cloth moved and everything. My biggest issue was the face. Uh, it just, it seemed really out of place. And I look fine. You're wrong. Oh, okay. <laughs> it looks great. It just it reminded me of the design of the characters from the Dark Crystal. 
I guess a little bit. I don't know. A little bit. I don't know. A lot of bit. I, I, it just, I didn't care for it. It, it well, squeaked me out. I don't care for you. <laughs> That's fair, I guess. <laughs> Damn. Oh, well, what else? What else uh, you got for me, notes wise? Uh, Michael Caine really, really like campaigned for this role. Because he, he, uh, he missed out on being having a guest spot on the on the Muppet Show. Mm-hmm. So when he heard this was filming, he got his agent to call the Henson Production Company like daily, badgering them until they agreed <laughs> to meet with him. He proved to Henry Cavill. Yeah, he was like, "This is me. I got to do this." <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. Shortly after that, they cast him in the role. He also considers this to be one of his favorite and most memorable roles. Mm-hmm. Uh, whenever he met with Brian Henson, who's the son of Jim Henson, mm-hmm. and Brian Henson directed this, this was his directorial debut. Oh, okay. Uh, whenever he met with him, he told him, his, Michael Caine told him, I'm going to play this as if it were a Shakespearean play. I'm going to be 100% dedicated, like, committed, and mm-hmm. serious. He's like, I'm going to act as if there are no Muppets no, or any these are silliness. all just people. These are actors <laughs> yeah. that I am working with. Which I think really works out, you know, the... Juxtaposition yeah. of silly and, like, like serious actor. I thought it was wonderful. Like him bringing in the serious, like, tone of the original Dickens novel to it the Muppets It gave the world. nonsense a yeah. little gravitas. Yeah. <laughs> I think it balanced very yes, well. I yes. enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and yeah, Brian Brian Henson was like, yeah, that's amazing. Great. <laughs> do Please that. do. <laughs> yeah. So there was something else you mentioned earlier about uh, you liked uh, Rizzo mm-hmm. and Charles Dickens mm-hmm. because of the like, narration and how that was done. So that was very intentional on the part of Brian Henson because he... He said he wanted to incorporate the narration and the prose of the original novel into the movie. Mm-hmm. I don't know if this has changed, if there's been adaptations of A Christmas Carol since this that has done this, but as far as I know, this is the only adaptation that actually features Charles Dickens. <laughs> <laughs> I mentioned one of my other favorite movies, is Home Alone. This movie was... The Muppet Christmas Carol was originally supposed to be a Christmas special. Mm-hmm. Then, I mean, a TV special. Yeah, I know. What then, you mean. then they turned it into a theatrical release, and it did pretty. It did pretty well at the box office. Like it was successful. It made its money back, mm-hmm. and it was profitable. But uh, it opened up against Home Alone too. Oh so, well, making their money back is impressive against that. So those are like my some of my childhood Christmas movies. The Muppet Christmas Carol, both Home Alones. Yeah, good times. That works. I'd say mine are probably like Nightmare Before Christmas. That was one that came later on. And all the, uh, you know, the claymation yeah. like uh, specials yeah. that were on. Y'all, I don't know if you've ever seen. There is one that I have. I think you bought me the DVD set mm-hmm. because it had this one claymation. Yeah, I, I bought it for you. Yeah. It was for us. I wanted it as well. <laughs> but uh, but it specifically has this one show called, or not show, but special, uh, Nestor the Long-Eared Christmas Nestor, Donkey. Nestor the Long-Eared Christmas Donkey. Uh, here's Nestor. Yes, Mama. <laughs> Come on. Sorry. Uh, Give me every tooth. Ah. <sighs> So, um, what about you? I don't know if I actually asked. Do you have any favorite parts? Oh, yeah. My favorite, it's always going to be Waldorf and Statler. Oh, God. I think I said, yeah, that's your spirit animals. <laughs> it was Jacob and Robert Marley in the movie. And, like, my, that was my favorite song, too. And then, we're Marley and Marley. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I really enjoyed uh, Rizzo and Dickens. Just their whole Stick. back and forth. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you're right. This is a really dirty window. <laughs> Thank you <laughs> Thank for letting you me be a part of this. Thank you for letting me be a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> when they're trying to break into Scrooge's house and he jumps over the bars and he's like, you could just walk under the bars all the time? Yeah. Yeah. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Other favorite things or stuff I really like about it is, yeah, uh, you touched on it. The, like, the design 
the costumes and design of the Muppets, uh, yeah, like my favorites, I don't know, maybe it says more about me, but my favorites were the Ghost of Christmas Past and the Ghost of Christmas Yet to Come, like the darker ones. I liked Yet to Come. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think you said it in the in while we were watching it, but yeah, it definitely reminds me of like a ring race. Yeah, thing. or a Dementor kind of like yeah, got, really got that dark. The only not I don't even know if I'd say critique, but the thing I, I noticed it drew attention uh, was the odd proportion. Like my brain wanted it to be taller because its arms mm. were so long. Um, but I get also that that was probably intentional, trying yeah. to create that feel of disjointed. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I mean, good job, I guess. I like it. <laughs> I'm imagining just like constantly waiting for me to call, pause just to be like, okay, yeah, all right, shut up. <laughs> You're wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. You're wrong. This is my childhood. Be quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Uh, well, what else? Anything else? Uh, there was that one part, you know, where they landed in uh, Scrooge's old school and the uh, cat was there. <laughs> Looked kind of familiar. <laughs> Only difference is this guy's not chasing anything. That's not true. Sometimes he does chase, like, ghosts, you know? Like <laughs> He's like, no, no, no. I don't. I don't hunt my own food. You bring it to me. That is true. That is true. <laughs> Every once in a while, like if there's a leaf on the floor, he'll be like, Wah! he'll play with it but, for a minute. But then he needs a 23 hour nap. So, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> all right, let's, let's rate it. I mm -hmm. think. Go ahead. Uh, I would say that this one's, uh, I'm gonna call this an eight, just a solid eight. Like, <laughs> man, y'all, he real mad. <laughs> Gave me like the, just giving mm -hmm. it a stink eye. I was trying to hold back to smile. Um, no, I mean, like, I, I really enjoyed this. I definitely think it probably would have had a larger impact uh, if I would have seen it as a child. Um, but, I mean, I really enjoyed it. We'll definitely be watching it again. I'm actually looking forward to editing this because I feel like I'll be able to see a lot more details and things, um, which I always appreciate in kind of like you know, Muppet-based type movies or um stop animation whatever um but no i enjoyed this it's a good christmas treat this is an eight for me what, mm -hmm. what about you it's like a nine nine and a half for me <laughs> i i love this movie <laughs> it did it, it really manages to hit on every level for me from like like i liked it when i was a kid because of the muppet thing mm -hmm. and the the story of a christmas carol was still there mm -hmm. and then as you get older it's still there like i still enjoy stuff about the muppets but it's also you can enjoy it as an adult because it's not too mm -hmm. too much of a kid's movie because of michael kane and the seriousness he brought to it so like it just it grows with you yes yeah i understand that completely there are certain things like even dialogue i was listening to i was like the kids in the audience wouldn't get that, but the adults appreciate this, you know. <laughs> Should we, like, this is kind of creepy. Should we be worried about the kids? <laughs> no, nah, nah. this is culture. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. So, yeah, I absolutely understand that. It grows with the audience. Yeah, um, it's it's a great Christmas movie. Puts me in the Christmas spirit, and you can watch it as a kid or as an adult, and it's still really good. When he gets passionate about these little movies, it's so cute. <laughs> little movie. It's the Muppets. I'm sorry, you know, I didn't mean it like that. Oh my God, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> he went from passionate to rare. Oh man. Well, yes, this is a good, good movie. If you haven't watched it in like its entirety in a while, do yourself a favor. You will, you'll be happy that you did so. Anything else from you, my dear? No, I think we uh, covered it. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for watching with us. If you don't mind, please make sure to like the video. Comment below. Let us know what are some of your favorite scenes. Did anything, did you watch it as a child? What were things, what are things as an adult now that you maybe missed as a child? Mm -hmm. What would you rate it? And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you can stay up to date on all of our shenanigans. Well, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. Happy holidays, season's greetings, 
warm wishes, all that good stuff. And God bless us. Everyone. <laughs> we'll see you next time with another first time. <laughs> oh, you didn't think I was going <laughs> to...